All right, good. You know, I've always thought of these eh? uh, that when it comes to section um, section A, of course, of paper two, that is a Dexel International GCSE English Language A. There are five fiction texts. Now, well, on our previous video, the one that we did lately, we looked at one of the texts that is uh, the necklace, and we saw specifically the thoughts and feelings how thoughts and feelings are conveyed by the narrators remember a fiction text is different from a non-fiction text although sometimes it might have aspects of non-fiction as in it or autobiographical account but at uh, the, the perspective is usually in third person so therefore we expect uh, to learn in as much as that, of course, good students, you're going to be asked to respond on the language and any other aspect about the text. But most importantly, there's going to be the use, I mean, like how the thoughts, yeah, how thoughts and feelings of those particular narrators and not writers, but the narrators, because this is a fiction text. So the perspective is in the third person limited uh, perspective, rather. So uh, now with me, I'm going to work on the premise that you've read this particular text here, The Significant Secrets by Rose Treman. And I'm going to assume that you've read it. And if you've not, at least two times, so that at least you familiarize with your, uh, maybe the, the flow of ideas and maybe the perspectives and also uh, the, the, the purpose of the writing. And by doing so, then you can come and then coagulate or try to um, uh, uh, mitigate through what exactly I'm saying here and what you might have conceptualized as far as... Uh, this particular fiction text is concerned. So uh, I've prepared uh, just specifically on the lines of thoughts and feelings. And of course, a video you have to stay put for the, maybe the use of specific language devices that the writer, now the writer, not the narrators. The use of language and structure, how the writers have used them to uh, bring out their purpose in this kind of writing. So without much further ado, let's get into the thoughts. Straight away, the first paragraph up there. The immediate description of how Lev is seated suggests to the reader, suggests to the reader, good students, suggest, this is your magic word, you need it, suggests to the reader that Lev feels uncomfortable and sad about leaving home. And I quote, he chose a seat near the back and he sat huddled against the window, staring out at the land that he was living. That's the end. Lev's cup is pulled low over his eyes as if he does not want to see the home that is living behind. And the writer uses the cigarettes as a symbol of Lev's solit solitary journey and connection with home as the first cigarette that he puts between his lips was a companion, something to hold on to, something that had promise in it. Lev's unwillingness to respond to Lydia's reprimand about smoking shows that he wishes to remain isolated and not disturbed and alone at the start of the journey. And I quote, all he could be bothered to do now was just to nod just not to say much to say a little just to nod just to satisfy the woman just to show that the woman that he had heard what she said at the start of the journey left things about how he will remain heart and soul in his home country i'll quote he would hold himself apart from the other people demonstrate that he didn't need to belong that his heart remained in his own country although the use of didn't need to suggest that he does not want to belong Two, that is the open discussion reflects his mixed feelings that is about leaving home as it focuses on how the sunflowers are scorched burned down by the dry wind and of course how the garlic grows wild at the edge of the road at the start of the extract Lev is more focused on the journey and the past he is leaving behind this focus is reflected in his negativity about the arrival that is in england now beginning a new life lack of communication and of course lack of real connection with the woman on the journey that is lives uncertainty about the future is also seen in his view that england is a world in which he would break his back working if only that work could be found uncertainty because there's a conditional aspect a conditional phrase there if only if only that work could be found so sense of uncertainty is suggested by that statement up there left uncertainty also about the future is reflected in Lydia's uncertainty also as she is traveling not with the promise of a job but with the opportunity of quote-unquote some interviews in London for a job as a translator left conversation with Lydia about her situation helps him to understand the need to start a new life in England 
or the questions why she should leave when he had a good when she had a good job when he had a good job that's to live he understands the uh, uh uh, he understands when she says i began to imagine that i'll die seeing these things and i didn't want these the verbs used to describe lives lives actions at the start of the extra shows that shows his fear those are feelings discomfort and sadness about living huddled staring and clutched the description of lives homeland at the start of the extract has some positivity in it in its use of colorful images which reflect his feelings about it how like fields of sunflowers growing green of course these again const contrasts with his views of england in the images that he sees on the banknotes that he examines later on during the journey her face gray i quote dark and dropping the contrasting imagery of nature and industry is reflective of Lev's feelings about his new life the views of nature are being destroyed by industry reflecting how it has destroyed his career at home and forced him to move see sunflowers or those are wildflowers or rather on a verge soil paper among bushes sun or rain on the road the onrush of nature's light look for a clover leaf smoke and then stare at the cars lifts clothing lifts clothing and looks are described using a polysynthetic list showing his urgency to make a new life which contrasts with the length of the journey and a quote up there and a leather cup and his handsome face and his hands and dented the writer presents lives as an incongruous mixture of young and old in his looks and clothing as he wears clothes that make him sound youthful quote unquote a leather jacket and a jeans and a leather cup that makes him sound youthful and also is also described as having a handsome face although he also gray toned with his smoking there is an aspect of old which is suggested by that with an old red cotton handkerchief and a dented pack of russian cigarettes and thick gray hair so the, the use of short sentences are used to create emphasis on left situation and feelings he would soon be 43 which emphasizes that he is a mature man stating a long starting a long journey to a new life he looked away there's another use of short sentence there which suggests in the great length and detail on left situation and feelings live drunk again i'll do any work at all england is my hope and of those particular short sentences up there uh, the writer's use of language makes the reader aware of Lev's physical discomfort on the journey reflecting his discomfort at leaving home and i quote had tried to prepare himself mentally for the long agony of it sleeping upright was not something that Lev was practiced in his longing for a cigarette has had grown steadily and now it was very sharp acute the writer uses contrasting connectives to show images of past feelings and future hopes contracting contrasting rather connectives to show the images of the past feelings and of course the future hopes for example the description of Lev and lydia on the journey and here we go side by side with their separate aches and dreams aches and dreams which suggest a contrast with the past and future aches of the past and dreams of the future i would prefer that we pause here for now good students because we have a lot to go or to uh, to to cover up within the, this particular limited period of time and if you have not subscribed and this is your first time a thumbs up will do me good a subscription and share with your good friends and above all i wish you the very best in these particular coming exams cheers